Kuro loved the rain, mostly because it seemed to be the only thing that could flatten his bed hair. But right now, walking along the street, trying to reach the grocery store to buy himself food, he wasn't fond of it. His hair was literally in his eyes, soaking wet, his hood giving him little protection from the rain, and Kuro made a mental note to buy himself an umbrella. Suddenly, regretting giving his to Bokuto after a practice match, then being told it was broken the next day. Kuro finally made it to the grocery store, shaking himself like a dog and grabbing a shopping cart, pushing it towards the cereal section. He made sure to grab Kenma's favorite and Yaku's, since the two were over at his house so often they basically lived there on the weekends. He hummed to himself as he chose food, grabbing things off shelves and idly putting them in his cart, every now and then having to brush his hair out of his eyes. He finally got in line to pay, and just as he started to get his wallet out from a hidden pocket inside his coat, he saw you. Your face was half hidden from your hood, which you put on just as the cashier gave you your change. And then you started to leave, clutching the plastic bag to you. But not before Kuro got a glimpse of your beautiful face. Ignoring the umbrellas next to him, he quickly paid and left with his own plastic bags and hurried outside, looking frantically for you. He spotted you, opening your own umbrella and crossing the street. Kuro splashed after you, her yelping as he nearly slipped and ran into you in his hurry. You gave a small scream and the two of you fell to the ground, instantly soaked. Kuro couldn't stop apologizing and you kept stuttering and, uh, uh, it, it, it's all right. You helped each other out to your feet and stood there in the rain holding on to each other for a second before you realized what you were doing. Quickly picking up your grocery bag, which was knotted and placed in another bag to protect it from the rain, and mumbled another apology. Your face red, walking away, keeping your head down after scooping up your umbrella. Kuro quickly followed after you after picking up his own bag and realized he'd seen you before. You go to school with him. But you've never had an interaction, and you were pretty quiet. Kuro, now realizing he never even looked at your face properly until now. Your name came to him so naturally. It was a bit odd. Traveler! You turned, with an evident surprise on your face. Wanna go out on a date sometime? Kuro yelled slightly over the rain then smiled as he realized how frickin' cliché this was. You looked taken aback, but blushed as you nodded in agreement, gesturing for Kuro to come nearer. The two of you then shared the umbrella for a while, making plans for your date. Kakayama contemplated leaving altogether, knowing there wasn't going to be any practice today, but he had been itching to practice his serve all day. So he ended up going to the gym, feeling very much at home after he set everything up. He just sat in the center of the court for a while, a ball in his hands, and then he was up and about, warming up, then serving. After a while, he wondered where Hinata was seeing as he usually practiced a bit on their off days too. Kagayama shrugged this off and did another jump serve, not noticing the door opening. He jumped when he heard a soft, Whoa! as the ball smacked into the other side of the net. Kagayama turned towards the voice, half expecting to see Yachi, but it wasn't her. It was someone Kagayama had never seen before and the both of you stared at each other for a few seconds. Until you got all red and quickly apologized, explaining you were just looking for Yamaguchi or Tsukishima to help you with something. 
and then you were gone. The slamming of the door closing, echoing slightly. Kagayama stumbled slightly and sat on the ground, furrowing his eyebrows and setting a hand over his chest, where he could feel his heart beating fast. He sat like this until Hinata showed up, shouting excitedly about his plans for the short practice. He stopped when he saw Kagayama. Kagayama! Oh my god! Did you break something? Captain's gonna kill us, what did you do? Nothing, dumbass! He yelled, way louder than he expected to. Hinata stepped back a little, looking hurt. Ugh. Um, sorry. Uh, this cutie came in and... Oh, is that why you were like that? Hinata snickered and jogged slightly in place. <laughs> you looked all weird! Was she pretty or something? Kagayama nodded mutely and got to his feet. He became even more confused because you were pretty, but there was something else. Days went by and you were still in his thoughts, until Hinata had gotten so tired of him staring off into space that he made Kageyama describe you to Yamaguchi, Tsukishima listening quietly as the four cleaned up after practice. Oh, Traveler? They were probably looking for us to get something off a top shelf for him. We're the only ones that can reach them in our class, Yamaguchi said. Hmm. Why? You like him or something? Sugishima asked, then bursted out laughing when Kageyama got all red. <laughs> oh, I am so telling them tomorrow. <laughs> Kageyama instantly grew defensive and chucked a ball at Sugishima, who ducked, and it hit Hinata instead, who then threw one back. You appeared again in the middle of a water break during practice the next day, and Yamaguchi was about to leave with you to help when he glanced at Kageyama, sending him instead. You turned and walked out when you realized who he was, your face burning. The both of you walked in silence until Kageyama bursted out an invitation to eat lunch with him tomorrow. You covered your face. Laughing quietly, but agreed. Bokuto was the type of dude to go out for a jog, and seeing as it was a beautiful Saturday morning, there was nothing stopping him. He jogged through the neighborhood, humming to the song being played in his ears and occasionally adjusting his earbuds. He stopped to pet the stray cat that lived in the corner near the park, and after scratching it behind its ears, he crossed the street into it. There was no one in sight, which made Bokuto a bit sad. He was hoping to see some dogs today, knowing it would make his day a hundred times better. He continued jogging for a few more minutes, then stopped and sat down at a bench taking his phone out and texting Akashi. Oh, I haven't seen a dog yet. <laughs> he put his phone away and was about to keep jogging when he heard a bark. Uh, no, come back! A voice cried as the dog ran right at Bokuto, eagerly wagging its tail and setting its paws on his knees, begging for attention. Bokuto obliged, laughing as the dog showed his gratitude by licking his hand. The owner stopped running and sighed in relief, panting slightly. <sighs> I'm sorry. He bolted as soon as he saw you. You stopped, suddenly aware you must have looked gross, all sweaty, and your face burned as you picked up the dog's leash. Bokuto stopped petting the dog and blurted out. Hey, you're pretty cute. You froze, and immediately your face grew even redder. You laughed nervously. Um, <laughs> um thanks. Uh, you are too. Bokuro grinned as you groaned at your words, 
covering your face with your hands. You didn't emerge until the dog barked for your attention, and Bokuro kept petting him, satisfying the dog. Sorry, um, he's an attention-seeking little brat sometimes, you said fondly, momentarily forgetting your embarrassment, but was back when Bokuto laughed. <laughs> hey, uh, can I walk him for a little? Bokuto asked, suddenly determined to spend more time with you. Oh, um, sure. You handed him the leash, and the two of you walked side by side along the path as the dog led happily. I'm Bokuto. What's your name? Traveler. He's Rufus. Rufus? <laughs> Bokuro laughed again, making your face redden once more. Mm -hmm. The both of you walked in silence for another while, until you reached the edge of the park. And Bokuro's stomach growled loudly. <laughs> hey, wanna grab something to eat with me? Oh, uh... Okay. Bokuro, without even thinking twice, took your hand and pulled you along the street, excitedly telling you about this pizza place he always went to because dogs were allowed to sit outside in the patio with their owners. <laughs>